Today I'm fading out my hair dye using the purest form of vitamin C, aka ascorbic acid, and we're gonna see if it's more efficient and which brand is the best. I'm starting with burgundy hair and a bright red money piece, and both colors are still pretty vivid, and red is one of the hardest colors to remove, so let's see what we can do. You've seen me use crushed up vitamin C pills to fade my hair many times, and in the video where I tried four different hair fading methods, I noticed that the other gentle product had ascorbic acid in it, so I figured since both of these work, maybe I should just get the purest form and see if it works better. So I got two different brands on Amazon, because I might as well do an experiment within an experiment. Experiment. I opened up the first one and it was like a cross between crystally and powdery, but I like that with this method I don't have to crush up the tablets myself with a hammer because it already comes loose. The other brand looks exactly the same with the crystal powder texture and so far I see no difference. I'm sectioning my hair in half to test each product and starting with a quarter cup in a mixing bowl putting on some gloves because vitamin C tablets always made my hands dry and it can also irritate your skin, but it's up to you. I'm adding a little water at a time and then mixing and then adding more so I can get a thin enough consistency like this one and I knew I would need more for one side so I added another scoop and more water until I got that good consistency again. I'm using my hands to spread it out and I definitely recommend doing this and not even bothering with a brush because massaging it into your hair makes a huge difference in how much comes out. And it's so interesting that you can literally see the color fading in this video as I'm putting it on. And if you look at the purple parts, they fade to red and the red fades to red. And now you know how stubborn red and colors that include red are when it comes to fading your hair dye. Now I'm doing the same thing using the second brand on the other side and making sure to massage each section. The color has visibly faded a bit at this point and since the other remover that had ascorbic acid in it said to blow dry while on your hair, I tried it out to help open up the cuticle and see if it made a difference, but I'm not really sure how much it did. I'm using a L'Oreal Build Up Shampoo because it sounds like it will be good at stripping everything out of the hair and that's what I'm trying to do. So I massaged that all into my hair to help massage the color out and so the shampoo could help keep my hair moist while I let it sit. I rinsed it out an hour later and you can see that the color has faded especially at the top but it's not faded enough to change to my next color and since both sides look equally faded I just used the same brand on my whole head mixed with shampoo to do round two. So it turns out that both of these ascorbic acids work the same so just get the one with the better unit price which I'll have linked and I really like mixing it directly with the shampoo rather than with the water because it's way less messy and it holds together much better so just combine those steps into one after I'm done massaging everything I put on a shower cap to trap the humidity and blow dried my head to help it process and then rinsed it out after an hour this is how light my hair came out after the second round, and it's hard to describe, but when you look at it up close in person, you can tell that most of the pigment is gone, and it looks a bit transparent, although they're still staining, but I knew it was light enough to do my next color on top, so I stopped after two rounds and did this purple and blue on top, and red wear. This is definitely my new favorite way to fade my hair. It doesn't feel damaged after, it's very gentle, and if it works this well on red, it must be even better on other colors, but we'll test that soon. 